Hi, I'm Don. I live in Florida. I've had an opportunity to travel, uh, mostly after I got out of college. Prior to college, I had been in a total of four states, and in fact, not very far inside of each of those four states. After college, though, I did have an opportunity to travel, uh, going to various professional meetings, and in the last 20 years, uh, had an opportunity to travel to about uh, all except one state. I have to find North Dakota somewhere in my travel plans soon, so I can say I've traveled to all 50, and I've traveled to about 30 countries. Most of that travel has been alone. It's been for business, uh, not for pleasure, but I've been able to incorporate some degree of pleasure into virtually every business trip that I've taken. Some advice, and this comes from years of experience. One is, be yourself. Don't try to do things that you're not comfortable with to try to please others. That's your money. It's your time. My background is as an economist. Uh, I look at time very carefully and I look at money very carefully, especially when it's my time and my money. So I treat that the same way when I travel. I don't want somebody forcing me into doing something that I think my time could be used better otherwise. Next thing. Make sure everything is organized before you leave home and during your trip. It's trauma. If you can't find your keys, if you can't find your billfold, if you can't find your passport, if you can't find other personal things. I'm not sure if I'm just uh, different in this respect, but I carry a briefcase and my wallet, my keys, my passport always go back in the same compartment. That way I never lose them. And I also make sure I travel with enough money that uh, whether it's the currency in country or dollars, which as you know are accepted in most places, um, that I just don't have to worry. And it doesn't mean to take a lot of money, it just says you take money with you. Next thing, be comfortable with the locals. Uh, you're a guest in their country, but they like to have you. That's why chambers of commerce exist, departments of commerce exist. They want you there, they want you to spend your money. Well, take advantage of that. You're doing a favor for them. Let them do a favor for you. Get to know them. Go to a farmer's market. Go to cultural events. Enjoy people at restaurants. It's way different for a guy going to a restaurant alone than it is a lady. So, if you're a lady watching this, I can't give you advice. I don't have a clue. But I can tell you, from a guy standpoint, you can be pretty comfortable going out to dinner by yourself. Again, from the lady standpoint, I'm not going to touch that one. You have to handle that one yourself. 